my name is Dr Janice Orr. I'm a lecturer in optometry and an optometrist at Aston University in Birmingham. Today I'm going to show you how to use a slit lamp by a microscope. Essentially this instrument has a separate illumination and observation system and allows you to have a stereoscopic view of the anterior and posterior eye. The slit lamp has an illumination system and an observation system which move independently of each other. Some techniques require the two systems to be aligned, whereas others require separation of set amounts of displacement. And we have a graticule here that lets you see the angular displacement between the two systems. This is the Hagstreit model. The other model that's popular is the Zeiss model. With the Hagstreit, you have your illumination and your slit height at the top using this graticle here. We have filters which change the characteristics of the beam. We have our slit width here and magnification controls here. The joystick as well can be rotated to increase and decrease the height of the instrument and you can also move laterally using the joystick for small amounts of movement and then the slit lamp is mounted on a stand for larger amounts of movement including moving between the eyes. We have a rheostat here which controls the brightness and some slit lamps also have a universal brightness control on the table but fine illumination control and brightness control is through the rheostat on the instrument itself. So this lets you lock the slit lamp in place. So if you're at the area you intend to look at and you don't want to move away, you can then lock the slit lamp so that it cannot move. Some techniques require the beam to be rotated horizontally and you do that by rotating this top section. There are techniques where you would prefer the illumination system and observation system not to be aligned with each other. And we do what we call decoupling of the illumination system. Essentially, you are loosening the lock that keep the two aligned and rotating the illumination system away from the observation system. Techniques that you would decouple include sclerotic scatter and in some, some cases, retroillumination.